Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Songwriter says, "Glory, glory, hallelujah." Come on. Since I laid my burdens down, then it said, "I'm going home to live with Jesus." Since I laid my burdens down, oh, how many of you going home to live with Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you laid your burdens down? The songwriter said, "All your burdens with an S." So oh. burden. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for just letting me be here today. God, yes. I thank you for my pastors. Yes, for letting me, you know, speak this morning. Um, on our topic is you can make it. Can oh, make it. Yes. Hallelujah. You can make it. Hallelujah. You can make it to a place that is prepared for oh, prepared yes. people. All right. Now. A place where there's no more hurt, no more pain, no more yeah. sickness, oh, no more sorrow. I want to make it. Hallelujah, and I need every one of you to help me make it, but Amen. if you don't help me make it, I pray the Lord that I still make my mark. Yeah, that I still won't miss my mark. Hallelujah, when Gabriel blows the trumpet, when he yes. blows the horn, will you be ready? Hallelujah, will you hear, we're done, well done, my well. good and my faithful servant. Talk. Or will you hear, the, um, leave from me, you worker of the iniquity. Yes. Amen. 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 We here at Guidance, you know, we're moving up. You know, we got some, some Sunday school in the church, you know, have Amen. some Bible studies Amen. in the church. And it's good because I like, you know, I like Facebook Live, but, you know, it's nothing like being in the house of God, in the house of God. You know, it's the hospital. So I don't see how, like, before the COVID started, I don't see how, you know, how so many people... Um, you know, fail to come in the church. The book of Hebrews said, assemble yourself together. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah for when the day is near. Hallelujah. But I thank God for my wife being here, my, my children, my mother-in-law, yes. you know, coming from Toledo, Ohio. Amen. You know, hopefully Amen. you're here to stay. Amen. Welcome right. to God's family. Hallelujah. <laughs> Where we do it God's way. When we don't Speak do it our way. Hallelujah. Most of all, I thank Jesus, you know, which is the head of my life. But my first scripture, I will be going to Ezekiel chapter 37, starting at verse 1. You know, if you have any comments or, or anything, yeah. just let me know. And I, um, but it reads, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Verse yes, 2, yes. and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very, very many in the open valley, and they were, and they were very dry. Said, uh, yeah, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Hallelujah. You know, with our natural eye, you know, we are seeing there is no, you know, possible way of these bones living. You know, these bones is just there on the ground. And there is no way that, you know, God can bring these bones back with our natural eye. You know, we need to start looking at things, you know, um, you know, with our spiritual eye. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, when we learn to look at things with our spiritual eye, we will be so further, you know, we'll be so further alone. Hallelujah. When we learn to look at things with our spiritual eyes, I feel like our faith can go higher in the Lord because we no longer look at our situations of being a, a, you know, being a burden. But we look at our situation as our situation can make us. Yes. Hallelujah. The situation may be, you know, that may sit better and resonate more. Hallelujah. Resonate more in your spirit to know that every situation, you know, is not to break us. You know, I'm not saying some situations won't break you. You know, but the situations come to make us, to make you a better person, to make you a better spouse, to make you a better woman or a man of God, hallelujah, to make you a better Christian. Amen. They come to make you. But verse 4, again, he said, prophesy unto these bones and say to them, O ye dry bones, mm -hmm. hear the word of the Lord. You know, like I said, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, I mean, ago in Bible study that I had taught. You know, sometimes we need to, you know, just sit still and, you know, wait on God. You know, if Ezekiel would have went out and, you know, went on his own will and tried to connect all these bones mm -hmm. together, there is no possible way he could have, you know, he could have did it. But instead of doing that, God just said, prophesy to the bones and, yes. they, and the, these bones will live. Verse 5, thus says the Lord, God, unto these bones, I behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. Yes. He shall live. Verse 6, I will... I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you the and cover the skin 
and put the breath in you that ye shall live, mm -hmm. ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 7, so I has prophesied as I was commanded, as I prophesied there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and bones came together, bone by bone. You know, as they say, he prophesied. You know, and as God commanded, you know, he didn't whisper to these bones, you know, he shall live again. But, you know, he had faith to, to you know, he had, he stepped out on his faith to know that these bones will live again. Oh, and, yes. you know, and God is, you know, a man of his word. So, you know, he had faith. You know, that's what we have to do as Christians, to be bold in your faith, you know, to be, you know, just to be bold in your in your anointing, to yeah. prophesy over things that need to be prophesied mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, you know, it's time out for, you know, for whispering to the devil, can you let my family go? Can you stop? Can you, can you please stop? You know, can you can you let my marriage go? That when you have my marriage for too long, oh, let go. That when you have my joy, you have my peace, you have my courage for too yes. long. That when it's time to let go, because I have somewhere to go. And yes. it's called heaven. Yes. You know, I gotta make it and yes. help me to make it to that city all right, all right. that yes. is called heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. That is somewhere. You know, God, I thank you. You know, God, I praise Lord. you, hallelujah. You know, for, for the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, yes, that yes. lives in me. You know, I, you know, from like minister Nicole said, from the rising, hallelujah, of the sun to the going down, you know, of the same. You yes, know, Lord, yes. Lord, I worship you. Now, you said, I look to the right and didn't see nobody. I looked to the left and oh, didn't on, see man. nobody, God, because no one is greater than you, Lord. No one compares to you, God. So hallelujah. thank you, Jesus. Verse 8, and when I behold the signs you, and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9, then he said unto me, prophesy to the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord of God, come from the four winds, O breath, O breath, O breath, ye that they may live. Verse 10, so I prophesy as he commanded, as he commanded me, and breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, and exceedingly a great army, you know, this is so good that, you know, I, I actually got to look this up and say a person body, you know, when you're born, you have 300 bones, but, you know, as you grow, your bones start to join, start mm -hmm. to connect, mm -hmm. you, and, you know, it grows, and it grows, like, it gets shorter till you have 206 bones in your body, so, you know, if, you know, oh, if God can see. resurrect them bones, why do you think God can't resurrect your marriage? Come on. You know, if God resurrect them bones, why do you think God can't resurrect you know, your finances, mm -hmm. oh, hallelujah. Yes. You know, if hallelujah. God can't resurrect them bones, why can't you think God yeah. can't resurrect that dried up anointing that you have failed to use? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Why do you think yeah. he can't resurrect yes. that anointing? You know, we got to make it, saints. You know, God is calling us to put 100% forward, not 99 and a half, not 99, but 100% forward. On. And I dare you to put 100% forward and watch God move on your behalf. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. My next scripture will be 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah, yes, chapter yes. 4, verse 8. Verse 8. And it reads, for we are troubled yes. on every side, mm -hmm. yet not distressed. Mm -hmm. you know, this is so good because the word distress means, means misery or agony or the state of being in great trouble. Hey. You know, this generation of Christians, as Pastor says, we are, you know, we're soft, you know, when our lights get cut off. You know, we think we are in great trouble. We don't, yeah. we don't know what to eat. You know, we think we are great trouble. Like if you don't just light a candle, hallelujah. God said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And it was. Hallelujah. It oh, seems yes. like we lost to we lost the interest or 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 how can I say it? We lost, yeah, we lost the interest over prophesying over some things. Hallelujah. Yes, that yes. needs to be prophesied over. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Seems like we lost the interest, you know, and then and we just letting the devil to jump on us, you know, we got to mm -hmm. prophesy and decree a thing, decree that yes. you know, the devil can't have my joy any Hall longer, Hall hallelujah, my Hall peace, he can't have my marriage, on, you will no Come longer on. limit my anointing, <laughs> hallelujah, devil, you had me down there, now you had me put my God on the shelf, hallelujah, to do your works, I decree and I declare, I will do That's your it. works, hallelujah, That's That's we it. have to decree some <laughs> things, hallelujah, for it's Thank everlasting you. too late, hallelujah, Verse nine, we are we are persecuted. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, but not forsaken. Uh -huh. Meaning we be you know we've been we've been you know we've been treated bad 
but we are not forgotten. We are yes, not abandoned. Yes. You know, how, how many of you glad that you are not forsaken? How many of you glad that, you know, God has kept you? God mm -hmm. knows your name. Out of all yes. of these many people, like all these people in the world, God knows you by your name. Oh, yes. God knows you by your, you know, yes. by your name. Oh, yes. And I thank God, you know, for knowing me by my name. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. After all the time that I asked for forgiveness and I and I ran out and and, you know, and I and I did the same thing that I asked God for forgiveness. Oh, you know, I thank God for still knowing my name. I thank God for still seeing me fit, you know, through all my situations, through all my struggles, through all my circumstances. I thank God for still Yes. Being fit, oh hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah! How dare you not give God glory? Hallelujah! Oh, yes. How dare you to just sit down on your praise? How dare you to just sit there and act like God haven't did Come nothing? On now. Hallelujah! Psalms 150 said, "Oh, let everything, everything. hallelujah, that has yes. breath, yes. praise yes. ye the Lord." Say, hallelujah! Say it. And it goes on and say, "I will not let no rocks." You know, if you, well, if you don't pray, hallelujah, there will be rocks that will cry out to me. Oh, something won't cry out to me if you don't praise me. Hallelujah. And I will not let no rocks cry out for me. Hallelujah. For the name of God is a strong power. And the righteous will run to me and be safe. Hallelujah. Verse 10, we are cast down, but we are not destroyed. Hallelujah. My next scripture will be Philippians 3. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, in Thank verse 13. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes. And it reads, brethren, I count not myself mm. to have apprehended what this one thing I do. Forgetting those things there which are is. behind me mm. and reaching forth to the things which are before me. Come on. Verse 14, I press. Yes. I yes. press. Yes. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God and Christ. And you know this scripture, I don't know how I was in the shower and I don't I don't know how where it was at, but you know, God showed me, you know, where it was at and I was just thinking, you know, about this demonstration. You know, so many, you know, so many times, you know, us as people, you know, we allow you know, we 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 wait and sit still until we until we hear a great word or a great person, a great woman, or or um or man of God to encourage us. Hallelujah! But you know, we have to learn how to encourage ourselves. Yes. So Hallelujah! So even so even though Hallelujah, my legs are down and my back is slushed over, I still have to learn how to encourage myself. Oh, yes. hallelujah. Even in the midnight hours when there's no one there to encourage me, better, I have to learn me. how to encourage myself. Oh, hallelujah. The, the, oh, hallelujah. Like it says, um, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. I will fear no evil, for thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. The God will prepare us a table before me in the presence, presence of my enemies. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. I can feel my legs getting stronger in the yeah, Lord. Yeah. God said, you call me young because I am strong. Come on. Hallelujah. I can feel my back slush. It's not slushed over anymore. I'm sitting higher Come in the on, Lord. Man. And when, when we mess up and we think that is enough, even though I am stood up, hallelujah, I still can't walk because if this wall moves, right, right. I will fall down. Hallelujah. We are still... You know, we still have to encourage ourselves. Hallelujah. In the midst of the storm, we still have to encourage ourselves. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, we still have to encourage ourselves. No weapon formed against me. Hallelujah shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I feel God raising me up and putting my feet in position to move. Hallelujah. But I still can't move yet. Hallelujah. Because I am still attached to the wall. Hallelujah. I am still attached to the come things on, that, 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 that of this world. I'm come still attached. Attached to hallelujah to fornication. I feel attached to adultery. Mm -hmm. I feel attached to drugs. Mm -hmm. So I can't move hallelujah because I'm still attached yeah. to this wall. Okay. So hallelujah, we still have to encourage ourselves because you think you are done in this spot and you're not because you will go out and have one more situation. It's going to knock you down further mm -hmm. hallelujah than you was because you didn't encourage yourself to the depths that God has called you to encourage yourself. So hallelujah. So God, you are calling me higher, God. I didn't say I will press towards the mark of the high call. Oh God, now I feel your strength, God. Now I'm able to stand alone. Now I'm able to walk alone on my own. God has called you 
to separate yourself from the yeah. wall because you got somewhere to go. You have somewhere to be. be. For the morning be. train, hallelujah, is on its way. The evening train, hallelujah, ha. on, may teach, be man. too teach. late. You've been oh, fighting yes. for so long. It's hard, hallelujah. hallelujah. Go to that God, go to that God. You are defeated, hallelujah. hallelujah. Crying don't mean you are defeated. For crying is just tears, hallelujah. Yes. That yes. words can't explain. Come on, come hallelujah. on, go Crying is tears that words cannot explain, hallelujah. You got it, hallelujah. You can make it, hallelujah. My next scripture will be come Ephesians on, chapter on. 6, starting at verse hallelujah. 10. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians chapter make 6, it. starting at verse 10. <laughs> Finally, my brethren, mm -hmm. be strong in the Lord mm -hmm. in the power of his might. Yeah. Put on the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God that he might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You know, some of our armor, you know, some of us don't put on the, you know, the full armor of God. You know, with us making it, saints, we have to, you know, listen to direction because if we don't, we will end up in a situation, hallelujah, that wasn't even meant for us because... We didn't follow directions, hallelujah. So we will end up something hindering us because we didn't listen. Hallelujah. Verse 12, for we are for we wrestle yeah. not against flesh or blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to withstand. And the evil day have done all to stand, have done all to stand, stand there having your loans dirt about with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shall with preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith, wherefore he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all your prayer and supplications in the spirit and, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth yes. boldly, that I may open my mouth boldly yes. to make known the mystery of God. Oh, hallelujah. You know, if we don't see, if you if you don't see that all all these things, you know, are tied together, and if yeah. you miss, you know, if you miss one, if you miss one of the armors of God, it's that is crucial. It's like going out to the battlefield with, without your helmet, or mm -hmm. going to the battlefield without your weapon. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah! You have to put on the full armor of yeah. God. You know, there is nothing, you know, that that we can't defeat. You know, when we put on the full armor of God. You know, there is no mountain that is too high. There is no valley that is too low. When we put on the full oh, armor yes. of God, you know, we need to put on the full armor of God, you know, um, put on the full armor of God so no devil will be able, you know, to come in God and just sit there comfortably. Hmm. Hallelujah. While pastor is preaching, we need to have the full armor of God and with the full armor of God, the, the devil will walk in here and be uncomfortable and yes, the devil yes, will flee yes. at the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 Hallelujah. Yes. At the name of Jesus. When anything sickness must be healed. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. If you if, if you sick in your body, you must be healed. If you sick in your mind, you must be healed. Oh yes. The name yeah. of Jesus. That name. The name of Jesus is the sweetest name. Okay. Hallelujah. It's the sweetest name. Sweetest know. name. You know, I can't help but to get decided. You know, for the power and the anointing. <laughs> Come on Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. You know, you know, it's up to everyone, you know, to use your anointing. And, you know, to have your own anointing and stop trying to piggyback on somebody else's anointing. It, hallelujah. Because you don't know what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. To get my anointing. Yeah. To get my power. You don't know what I've been through. Hallelujah. For me to be standing here. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You don't know what I've been through for the fire that is in me. Hallelujah. The weeping prophet Jeremiah said it's like fire. 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 Hallelujah. It's like fire. You know, shut up in my bones. You know, we put the full armor of God. You know, we got to be, you know, we will be on one accord. Hallelujah. It said that the upper room that was in one, one accord. Hallelujah. Woo! And it came like a you mighty rushing wind. Oh, hallelujah. That's today. Let's try to have yes, an upper yes. room experience. Hey, come on. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, one accord. Let's get on one accord in this place. 
Hallelujah. And it should be like a mighty rushing wind. The mighty rushing wind could be anything. It could be your hope coming. It could be your joy coming. It can be, teach, it, it can be your marriage, the tools to your marriage to stitch your marriage back together. Whatever that mighty rushing wind is. It is coming. You know, we got to make it sense. Hallelujah. You know, time is running out. Hallelujah. It Thank is you, raining. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's run in the church doors before, you know, we get wet. Hallelujah. Let's run in the house to get oh, yes. rained on by Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's not get rained on by the world, but let's come in the house to get rained on by Jesus. We had our umbrellas um, open for too long. Hallelujah. And missing the things that God <laughs> has on. for us. Hallelujah, but it's time to close your umbrella and get some of that anointing. And yes. Some of that power. Hallelujah. No, How many of you want to be drenched? Hallelujah by God's power. Drenched by God's anointing. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. You can make it. You can make it. Hallelujah. Like the Bible said. Hallelujah. Let's you make you, it. Man, you oh, hallelujah. We know that with, with making it, we have to have some preparation to do hallelujah to make it. You know, we have to let some people go, you know, that means no good to us, that don't have our, you know, our best interest of heart. So, you know, with that being said, I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians, verse 6, starting at verse 14. Thank you, Jesus. Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Come on, please. You know, this is so good because, you know, I read unequally yoked. You know, it, it, said to, it says some on there. It said to, to be unequally yoked has one stronger person and one weaker person or one taller person or one shorter person. <laughs> Come on. The weaker or short, shorter yeah, person teaching. will walk more slowly than the taller person. Oh, yes. The stronger one causing the load to go around in circles. When people are unequally yoked, they cannot perform the task. Hey. Before them. Hallelujah. We are a team. We have to, you know, we are here at God as a team. We have to resemble each other in some kind of way. You know, like co-pastor preach. If I have kids, they can they need to resemble me in some kind of way from the ears, from the toes or something. We have to resemble yes. ourselves. We have to go mm -hmm. my oh, the way you walk, oh, you from God, the way you talk, oh, you from God. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, we are equally yoked. Hallelujah, as a team. And it's like me walking with crunches. If I have one crunch lower and one crunch higher, how will the crunches be able to perform the way that was supposed to be? If if one was lower and one is higher, we have to be on the same level. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. as a church. Hallelujah. They go back to say, what for, for what partnership has righteousness with lawless? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? What accord has Christ? With, with Belial? Or what portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? What agreement has the temple of God with idols? For we are the temple of a living God. Yes. As God said, I will make my dwelling among them and walk among them. I will be there, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, go out, go out unto from the myth and be set and separate from them, says the Lord, and touch no one clean thing. Then I welcome you, and I will be a father to you. Yes. And you shall be my sons, and you shall yes. be my daughters. To me, says the says the Lord Almighty, you yes. separate yourself. Separate. Hallelujah. From, you know, from the word, you know, if you're going to be in this thing, you know, really be in this thing, you know, if you're going to make it, there's going to have to be some friends, hallelujah, that you have to That's cut right. off to make That's it. That's right. It's not that you are better than them, but we are on two different roads. I have somewhere else that I want to be. I want to make it to heaven. Come on, come on. Come on. And drink. I want to make it to heaven and you on the club. We are looking for two, hallelujah, two destinations. Oh, hallelujah, this is so good. Because I, when I wrote this, I was actually teaching this to myself. And I, and, and I, had, to, I had to jot this down on here. I said so many times, you know, we focus on the destination and not focus on our journey. You know, we focus on the destination and not focus on the journey. Hallelujah. Our journey is what makes us, you know, who we are today. You know, the journey shows, you know, what we had to go through to get to the destination. Oh, when you get to your destination, you will tend to look back on, you know, on your journey. You know, you will tend to look back at the situations and the, and the problems, hallelujah, that got you to your destination. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I can, you know, I can lift my head higher because you know i will now focus on my situation as a journey 
Hallelujah. Because I know when yes, I when yes. I pass this step, I'm one step closer to you. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. I passed a heartbreak last Come week. Now I am one step closer to you. Yes. Hallelujah. I trampled over my enemies yesterday, God. Yes. I am one step closer yes, to yes, you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I defeated yes. the mountain. I defeated the giant that you have placed before me, God. I am one step closer Close. to you. Hallelujah. We need Hallelujah. to look at our look at our troubles as like you know, as surgery, you know, it's going to hurt now, you know, but later on down the line, it's putting you in a position, hallelujah, to be better. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Yes. Bless oh, yes. the name of the Lord. My next scripture will be Romans. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 8. Come on. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And it goes on, shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or a sword as it is written for your sake. We face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to, to be slaughtered. No, I knowing all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, neither, neither life, neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither the height nor depth nor anything else in this creation will be able to separate me from the love of God you know I don't know about you but you know I've been you know I've been through too much to you know to turn around you know we came oh, too yes. far you know from where we started hallelujah yes. to turn around you know, we got to make it. Hallelujah. You know, it's not no time to, you know, to be, to give up. Not no time to be babies and fall out when things don't go our way. You know, it's time to really be grounded. It's time to really be rooted in yes, the Lord. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. You know, we cry so many Jesus. nights. Hallelujah. We, you know, we, we, we preach too many teachings. You preach so many lessons. Hallelujah. You conquer so many battles to turn yes, around. Yes, yes. Oh, hallelujah. You know, when God comes, what will you be doing? Hallelujah. What will he catch you doing? Hallelujah. Will he catch you doing his works? Or hallelujah. Will he catch you in the word? I mean in the world. Hallelujah. Doing nothing you have no business to be doing. What you what will you be doing? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And it's coming. Yes. Hallelujah. My next scripture will be 2 Corinthians. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 4. You teach him. Verse 16. Wherefore we faint not. Therefore we faint not. You know, meaning let's not get weak now. You know, it's time. You know, you know, let's not get weak in God. God is soon to come. But through our outward man is decaying. Yet our inward man is renewed day by day. day. day, by day. Oh, hallelujah! Our outward man is decaying. But yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. You know, the word decay means a. a and applies to a state of rotten, you know, so it's saying even though our outward man is getting rotten, our inner man is being renewed. Yes. And Hallelujah. You know, this is why we can't really judge a book by its cover. Yes. We can only uh. see the outside, but we can't see, you know, the inside, you know, even Hallelujah. though our outside man, you know, is getting beat up, our inner man is stitching us <laughs> back together, even though our outward man Hallelujah is getting beat up our inner man. Hallelujah is putting us in a position. Hallelujah to make it, even though our outward man have a faith that we can't make it. Our inner man, Hallelujah, is telling us you can make it. You can go on. You can live another day. Yes. You can fight. Don't give up. Hallelujah. I thank God for that yes. inner man and that Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. If you don't got it, I dare you to get it. Hallelujah. Because it's said in Romans. Any man without the spirit of Christ is none of his. Yeah. Hallelujah. His Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is unexplainable, but I got it. Oh, yes. Hallelujah is unexplainable. Hallelujah, but I got it. Verse 17, for our light affliction, which is for the moment, working for us more and more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things yes. which are not seen, you know, is eternal. You know, I can't even imagine, you know, even you know, picture God coming, you know. You know, everything that we see, all the materialistic stuff, 
you know, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be gone. Hallelujah. So, you know, I, you know, I put it like, don't get comfortable in this world. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't make this home. Hallelujah. Don't get mad if you don't have the biggest of home. Because God, you know, in heaven, God has a home that's a mini mansion. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That is not yes. made. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. By man's hands. hands. Hallelujah. We got to make it. Hallelujah. You know, the song said, I can only imagine. Man. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. When I get face to face with you, God, what would I say? Hallelujah. God, what will I do? Hallelujah. Will I bow down? Down to you, but I be speechless. Hallelujah! Says I can only, I can only imagine. Hallelujah! My next scripture, Hallelujah! I have a couple Jesus. more. My next scripture will be Romans eight, verse twenty-eight. Oh yes. We know that to them that love God, all things work together for good, yes. even to them that are called. According to his purpose, for he foreknows he are, he also foreordained, meaning he already called you, hallelujah, before you was even in your mother's womb, hallelujah. <laughs> God is good to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn of, uh, among many brethren, on whom he foreordained them, he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified and whom he justified them, he also glorified, hallelujah. And, you know, I have to search some things up, you know, to be foreordained, hallelujah, means to be appointed, hallelujah. Uh -huh. So whom he appointed, he also called to be justified, means to be made righteous. Oh, yes. Hallelujah, to be glorified, means to be made glorious. Oh, oh yes. So if you put that in the scripture, it will read to be conformed to the image of his, yes. that he might be the firstborn among many brethren, on whom he appointed, he also called, and whom he has made righteous, and whom he has made righteous, he also has glorified. Him. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. You know, then it goes on to say, right. you know, uh, it goes on to say, when, you know, then shall we say to these, what shall we say to these things? If God is before us, home. If, yes. God before before us. if God is before us, if God is before us, who can be against us? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. You know, no fire can burn you because God is before you. Hallelujah. Yes. No battle can turn you. No giant can defeat you. Hallelujah. Yes. Because God is before Lord, you and because Lord, Lord. God you know, knows your name, hallelujah, I'm glad and I'm thankful, hallelujah, you know, that, you know, that glad, that God knows my name, you know, that's why I can't, you know, I can't sit down on my, you know, on my anointing no more, I can't sit down on my praise, yes, preparing me, hallelujah, oh, yes, For a time like this, hallelujah, us as Christians, it's, tar it's, it's time to be, you know, participators and no longer be manipulators, hallelujah, <laughs> manipulating yourself, Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Sit down on your praise and you know God has been good to you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Manipulating yourself to sit down on God's, you know, God's gift. You know, even after God, you know, even after God said, let everything, hallelujah, the that has breath. Yes. Be the Lord. Hallelujah. Manipulating yourself. Hallelujah. Just to sit there and not, you know, and not give, you know, God no glory, you know, in order to make it. You know, hallelujah. Yes. There's going to be some crying out. Hallelujah. You can't tell me in your walk. You haven't had to cry out to Jesus. You can't yeah. tell me, hallelujah, you know, that it wasn't nice. You had to stay up, you know, struggling with your flesh, struggling with yes, your mind, yes. struggling with your family. You can't tell me it haven't been nice like this. But the moral, hallelujah, of the story is you can make it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You can make it. You know, I got a couple more scriptures and I'll be done. My next scripture will be Lamentations chapter 3. Verse 22. Amen. Amen. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. Because of his love, you know, we are not devoured. You know, devoured, you know, means to be destroyed completely. Hallelujah. For we are dismantled, but we are not devoured. You know, this is confirmation. Hallelujah. You know, that we cannot be devoured. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but reading this word of God, you know, it's just confirmation and gets me excited because we will think oh, everything that we deal with, hallelujah, we are down and out. I can't come back from this situation, but it reads, the, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. Oh, hallelujah. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions 
never feel they are new every, every morning. Then to wrap it up and say, great. great. <clears throat> Here's thy faithfulness. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I am not consumed. Great. Hallelujah. Here's thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I know I can make it great. Here's thy faithfulness. Oh, I know, God, that you are my rock in the midnight hour. Great. Hallelujah. Is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. We have to learn how to be faithful. Hallelujah. Over little things. For being faithful over little things brings me. Hallelujah. To my to my last Hallelujah. scripture. Matthew 25. Hallelujah. Verse 21. His Lord said to him, Well done. Well done, my good and my faithful servant. You were faithful over things. You were faithful over a few things. Now I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. You know, after everything, hallelujah, that we've been through, after standing tall, you know, and answering the call of Jesus, you know, you didn't have to you didn't do everything right. I didn't say that. But, you know, we well it enter into the joy of the Lord. You know, at the end of the day, saints, you know, we all we all gotta make it. Hallelujah. I can't make it for you. You can't make it for me. Hallelujah. We have to learn how to make it ourselves at the end of the day when we look in the mirror and 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 and, and it was just us alone. Hallelujah. Are you gonna make it? Hallelujah. Are you yes. gonna stand? Hallelujah. If God comes right now, will you be ready. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. You know, I will you know I will tell you, you know, you know, we just need to make it. You know, you've been counted out for too long. Hallelujah. You're gonna make it. God hears your cry. You know, God hears the tears that is in your voice. And God is on the way. Hallelujah. To rescue to rescue you. Hallelujah. You can make it, saints. You can make it, God. You out there on Facebook, hallelujah. You can make it. You know, stay encouraged. And I pray that you pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Good work. Amen. Awesome.